Hey guys, my name is Habib. In today's session, we are going to talk about a very simple Active Directory tool. It is called LDP.exe. This tool is uh, based on our LDAP, which is Light Access Directory Access Protocol. Uh, this tool is used to connect to your Active Directory and search for something. And if you have enough rights, you can uh, modify as well. So, how to launch this tool? By default, it will be installed in your uh, domain controller that is uh, where your active directory is running if you are running if you are trying to install LDP from client machine then you have to download it from Microsoft website so if you go to command prompt and type LDP.exe you will get something like this this is your LDP window uh, first you have to go to connection and then connect and if you are in the same server which is the active directory server you don't have to mention anything also don't change the port value and uh, leave it default and click OK. Once this is done then you have to uh, give your credential details. So you go to connection again and click bind. And if you are logged in as a domain administrator, so I will just keep it as bind as currently logged on user. If you are a client then you have to provide your rights and according to your rights you will be having access to your active directory like you can only search or you cannot search anything or you can search modify delete and the update related <coughs> uh, commands so here I am uh, selecting the first option that is bind as currently logged on user so click OK so now you are authenticated as administrator here administrator is Habib domain administrator now go to browse and uh, search for the object that you are searching uh, otherwise you can also go to view and click tree and this is going to connect to your habib.local domain and it will give all the domain related uh, object in a tree view it is similar to your uh, active directory view so you, if you go to your active directory users and groups uh, sorry users and computers when you expand Habib.local you see all the objects are arranged in this manner uh, in the similar way in LDP you will get that review let me so here I have created a organizational unit in which I have a user called James Bond and I want to search some properties so if I may Active Directory Administrator, of course, I can go here, I can just right click, properties, I can see a lot of things. If I'm just a user, I'm in a client machine and I'm connected to Active Directory using LLAP and I want to check some properties, then uh, this tool is very helpful. So, um, how to search for that object? So, go to Browse and click Search. Here, I am uh, selecting Scope as Subtree. Uh, if you cannot find any result using subtree then select one level again if result uh, result in us coming up then uh, you can change your scope to base but usually by selecting subtree you will get your results also uh, if you have to mention your base DN which is same habib.local keep it there otherwise you can change from here so here we have a filter property uh, means you are specifically looking for some attribute for example service principal name and the service principal starts with HTTP uh, forward slash something then you can mention it here uh, I will show it later how we uh, use this tool for other filters criteria so for now I'm uh, trying to search James Bond so for James Bond you just drop down and select SAM account name so this is your uh, Active Directory database and here question mark means what you are trying to search so I will delete this question mark and I will put that name as James here you can see there is a, a field called attributes here it will show all the attributes related to James object so here by default we have object class name description canonical name we can add more attributes as you want so for now I will just click run and I will get result here so just click run you are not getting any results here so 
why what is the reason so when you go to active directory users and groups you'll find that the user name is James Bond however the account name is J Bond so you have to search with the alias so try it again with your alias so I will replace this James word with J Bond and search again and this time I'm getting the result so here uh, J Bond is an account which belongs to James Bond which is in a sales OU and that sales OU is a part of Habib.local and uh, as you mentioned the attributes here canonical name is this and uh, the just name is this and uh, object class is 4 which is top and all other information now why we are using this tool I am not looking for all these information there is something else I want to uh, find out and uh, usually this tool uh, like I do uh, I use for uh, finding uh, SID, GUID and service principal name so how to find SID and GUID so if you want to find SID GUID then just come over here and uh, you can remove if you don't want any uh, of these uh, attributes otherwise just uh, add a colon semicolon and then type your attribute so if I want to find GUID then I have to type object GUID and if I want to find a SID then I have to type object said that's it now let me run it again so when I run again if you see my previous result there was no SID and GUID information because in attributes I didn't mention it but this time I have see here in the bottom I have object SID and object GUID value so these are the important uh, attributes that we usually try to find when we have some connection issues or authentication issues or object is being deleted and uh, uh, we are we have lost the SID or something like that then we need these important attributes so here we uh, find the GUID and SID so to always remember to find GUID and SID you can always type object GUID SID now there is another important thing so service principal name which is used uh, to find out the duplicate SPNs entered in Active Directory database and to find out what SPN is set we have a lot of other ways to find it out however LDP can be a good help so if you go to filter and you will see you don't have any customized filter here so to find service principal name in the whole Active Directory you can always just type in brackets service principal name equal to what so let's say I'm looking for a service principal name which uh, uh, whose value is something like host forward slash and some server name and I don't know what and if you know the service principal name just enter complete detail here it will exactly give you the result but for now I'm just running and checking whether we have any service principal name existing active, active directory database so if I click run I can see yes there is a one result I'm getting one entry here and service principal name is available on VM1 machine so at VM1 machine we we can see that service principal name is assigned and uh, it is something like host colon uh, uh, host forward slash and something VM1 there are many other ways to find out service principal names however LDP is one of the simplest tool you can use this so this is it we have a uh, uh, LDP tool here we can uh, use other options like uh, delete any object modify any object or um, uh, if you in active directory you, your object has been deleted now you don't know where it is you can always find it 
uh, if it is there like in lost and found folder and there are many other options like uh, your search view and browse but generally we just use these three options connect bind and search that's it you don't want to modify your object from LDP you can always go to Active Directory and modify it uh, otherwise you can use from here if you have the sufficient right so uh, that's it guys uh, this was LDP tool a very simple tool to uh, use and this tool is very useful when you are trying to find the set great service principal name and some other special attributes which we cannot see from your uh, local machine by connecting to Active Directory. Right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. There are a lot of other videos coming in. Please subscribe this video channel. Please like the Facebook page where I post a lot of articles. And thank you. Have a great day.